Well, hi, Bray and Janie here, Allegro Piano Service, in my lovely shop in Fallbrook, California. And I'm sitting before a very stubby little grand piano. And what I wanted to do in this video, in brief, was go over something that you, as a prospective piano buyer or someone that's looking at a piano for someone else, can kind of do to pre-screen a piano. I say that because pre-screening is something that takes place before someone like myself is called. And basically, I go out and do an official inspection and make sure as a used piano that it is acceptable and serviceable and something that someone should consider. Realize that even a newish piano, like this one may be, it's like from the 80s. Um, and when it comes to pianos, 80s is not super old. Uh, <clears throat> is a circumstance where even though inside it may look shiny and everything else may look awesome, it's always good to talk to someone like myself prior to actually acquiring the piano because there may be circumstances that are outstanding. Perhaps there was a manufacturing flaw when the piano was made that within its warranty period was taken care of by the piano maker, but now the warranty has lapsed and taking care of it now is going to be really expensive or other circumstances that might not be seen. It's always good to have someone like myself that's familiar with the various brands, familiar with the various makes and models, so that we can help you to make a good choice. Now, what I have here is my ever handy little sheet on using your senses to consider a piano. Um, basically sight, sound, smell, feel, and taste. Um, what you want to do when you first sit down at or begin to look at a piano, it's super obvious stuff, but I'll say it anyway, just the general condition. Look at um, the case, see if there's any spots in the finish that are lighter or darker than others, if that's the case. <clears throat> if that's the situation, basically that means that the piano has been in the sun, and if it's been in the sun for an extended period of time, not a good thing. Uh, look at the edges, see if it's been battered or dropped or if there's anything regarding the case that looks a little more than just, uh, you know, like little scratches and things like that. Look at the keys and see if they are all, in fact, there's some, some symmetry. There's even spaces between the keys. There's things going on that, are, uh, that look like they're in order. Look at uh, and... Open up, if it's an upright, perhaps, you can open up the top and look inside. See if there's things that look like they're out of place or hammers that look like they're closer together to others. I mean, these are things that, you know, just for information you can have that will help you to decide whether or not it's something that looks like it's been heavily played. Are there grooves in the hammer? Like, you can do that on a grand piano. You can open up this particular instrument. And uh, the, always the music desk generally just pulls back or lifts right out of the piano. And you can look in at the hammers. Now they're down there between the strings. And you can see whether or not they've got deep grooves in them. Are they stained? Does it look like somebody splashed hot chocolate all over the inside of the piano? Things like that that are important to know. Um, so various stuff like that. Crawl underneath the piano if it's a grand. And look at, up at the soundboard. Look at the things that are going on. Maybe there's some spot underneath there where you may, might see some sort of damage. Or if things just look like they're in order. Maybe it looks fine. Maybe the varnish on the underside of the piano looks brand new. If there's a crackle or something going on with the finish that looks like it's kind of modeled, that's an indication that perhaps the piano's been in a fire. Or it's just super old, one of the two. Um, Remove, uh, you know, and when you're, so that's regarding all the stuff you see. Now, things that you hear, okay, the sense of hearing, obviously you're going to play the piano. I mean, you, you wouldn't buy a piano if you weren't playing it. Uh, play each note and listen for things that sound unmusical, clicks, rattles, circumstance that doesn't really fit. Move the pedals. Um, the right pedal is a damper pedal. The left pedal, generally on a grand piano, moves the keyboard to the right and left. Um, and just, you know, move the pedal slowly and then move it quickly. And just listen for sounds, squeaks, noises, things that you, you know, might find there. Um, 
and listen to the piano as it's played. See if it sounds relatively in tune, or if it's just wildly out, if there's notes notes that you hear that kind of got a wild wave to them and so forth. Generally, I always tell people if they are planning on presenting a piano for sale, it's always a super wise idea to make sure that the piano is tuned and in its best condition prior. I mean, if you're wanting any money for it at all. So if you sit down at a piano and it's not been tuned, guess what? You don't know if it can hold a tune. So that's something that you really want to make sure you're aware of when you're sitting down at a piano like this. Um, are there, uh, as far as smell, don't be afraid to put your face right down here and just give the thing a whiff. Does it smell like smoke? Does it smell like cigarettes? Does it smell like somebody's fried chicken? <laughs> Does it smell like uh, mold or must? I mean, realize when this piano gets moved into your home, it's going to be real prominent and that smell is something you're going to you're going to have every time you sit down at the piano and you begin to play it. Um, if there's animals or cats in the piano, that's super bad. <laughs> I've seen that. Um, also, as far as visual, just make sure you look on the inside. A piano that's got shiny strings, that's good. Um, if they're rusted, you know, there's circumstances there. They begin to turn brown, they begin to turn black. The bass strings turn uh, darkish colors instead of this nice copper sort of look. Um, things like that are obviously indications that it's been exposed to salt air, moisture, or other circumstance like that. And when you, uh, you know, and as far as feel, the other part of the sensation there, just, just run your hands along the case all the way around the outside of it and see if there's any nicks, gouges, or other things going on in the finish and look at it all very closely. Um, and as far as taste goes, that's not necessarily like I'm going to ask you to like lick the piano and taste it, obviously. <laughs> it's a thing where you, is, is the instrument and its case something that you find tasteful? Um, is it something that you would like and that you would like to have in your home? So um, just some precursory things. Um, if you would like this sheet, feel free to email me. Go to my website, pianoserviceandrepair.com. Send me an email and I will easily send this to you in a PDF. It allows you to just have this information in front of you so you don't miss anything. Um, obviously, if you're a client of mine, you've got that information already as far as my email and contact. I hope this has been helpful and that you will uh, certainly be in touch. Last little disclaimer, never ever acquire a piano without someone like myself looking at it first and making sure that it's in good condition. Thanks for watching. Brian Janey here, Allegro Piano Service.